Good evening, YouTube. Today is Thursday, January 21st, 6.20 in the evening. I'm actually coming to you from the beautiful Epcot Center. I'm here for the art and festival that runs from January 8th to February 22nd. And tonight, I want you to come and join me so I can show you some offerings, what they do offer here at Epcot for the festival. So that way you can have an idea, like when you do come down to Disney World around this time, so you can at least know what they have to offer. Let's go. We're actually going to go around this way here to go to the World Showcase, and that's where a lot of the food booths are at. This way, if you go down this way here, this walkway here, you're actually going to come across the seas with Nemo and friends, soaring, the land, and of course, journey to imagination with figment. There is something down here that I want to show you um, that looks pretty cool that I would love to do it, but I, unfortunately, I do not have the price for it. Um, maybe if I find a cast member on, along the way, I'll be able to ask him. So with that being said, uh, we'll be back. Right down this area here, it is the Core Reef restaurant that's adjoined to the Seas with Nemo and friends. So let's just go down this way here. There is a, over there with the blue umbrella, is a ex, uh, guest experience team. If you have any questions. But right, this construction over here they're doing used to be one of the walkways from the center of Future World to come across right over here to enter. Well, my mistake. That actually wasn't the entrance way. I'll actually show you the way that it used to be when you used to come into Future World to the other part of Future World. Then the stroller parking for Nemo is right there. Now the way you used to come in to go into Soaring in the land and the seas with Nemo and friends and then journey to imagination was directly right where this wall is at right now you used to come across to get over here to this side but now you have to walk all the way around the way we just came now what I want to show you is This is the uh, expansion section. Uh, it's only available. I'm gonna zoom in here, zoom in so you can see it. It's only daily uh, until 5 p.m. Now the cool thing is, like the numbers on the floor, those are the numbers you stand on. But then on the wall here, they got different numbers. And what we're gonna do is now, I'm gonna zoom in from here. And that's where you form the line directly right over there where that cart is at closed. You wait in line there. And then once they call you, or whatever the case may be, then you start, you form the line You form the line right down here. That's where the blue social distancing markers are at. You start from here, and then you work your way up to the numbers that they assign you to, and then you grab the paint and you start painting the the wall with the color more. I'm, my mistake. More with the number that they they uh, give you on the wall. So what we're gonna do is now. We're gonna make our way out to the World Showcase. 
and then uh, I'll be back. The sign that says paint and, and brush distribution. It's right over here at the cart, the one I was showing you earlier when I zoomed in. So that's the uh, where you come and get your paints and the brush. All right over here. Even the price of the This waterfall is amazing. That's actually located right next to See this journey to imagination with figment. Now comment below at the comments below uh feel free to say uh tell me which out of the four disney parks is your favorite my personal favorite um is uh to go to his magic kingdom and of course second is epcot center so now we're gonna walk down this walkway here I'm going to show you something else now when I get up there. Right here, these are some of the booths. One of the booths that they have for the festival. But it looks like they might only be open during the day or on the weekend only. It's actually located right next to uh, Journey to Imagination. You can actually take this walkway and just head down this way. Oh, I'll actually lead you into the World Showcase. Now, once we get into the World Showcase... There's two different directions you can actually go. <laughs> yeah, so that jack is going home. Oh, we actually have... I actually found one of the booths open, which I'm actually going to go now and show you the uh, menu of it. Now we can check it out. Now go right this way here. This is the destructed dish. This is the menu where the price is. So up here you can get the uh, dishes right over here and then what we're gonna do is I know the arrows are right here I'll tell you how to get in but of course you got restrooms right over here also right across from the destructed dish I've never seen this before this uh, there's actually ha there's a Starbucks over here pretty interesting this is the first one I've seen I guess they must have moved that from the uh, from the center part of uh... now if you actually if you're facing the world showcase lagoon if you look to your right you'll be entering Canada and you work your way all the way around the world showcase which we're gonna do now but if you go to your left, directly down that way, you'll go towards Mexico. So you have a choice to go either left or right. With that being said, uh, there's another one, another booth that's open. It's called the Citrus Blossom. And hopefully you guys can see the um, prices and what they sell. It's just pretty cool. So that's what they only sell here, the citrus blossom. So what we're going to do is now, we're going to, instead of going to the left to start in Mexico, 
I'm actually going to start making my way down to Canada and work my way all the way around the World Showcase. Now you do have tents with paintings. I know it's kind of hard to see. I apologize. Uh, that's Dopey, a painting of Dopey. Then you got a picture of the child. I know it's kind of hard to see it. I apologize. But then right across from the Disney Artist Gallery, you got This one here is a refreshment. So I'm going to see if I can just zoom in so you can see the uh, menu if I can. Yeah, no, it doesn't come out well. Sorry about that, guys. But there is a refreshment port right over here. And right over here. Yeah, another Disney Artist Gallery. It's pretty cool. So that way you can get a better look at all the, uh, oh, they got a sanitizer station right here. The cool thing is that they also have smaller versions of it if you don't want to get the actual big one. Now right here in Canada, there's another booth that's actually open. It's called the Masterpiece Kitchen. Let's see if we can try to see the menu. I doubt it. Eh, it's going to be a little bit too dark. Here you have another Disney artist gallery that sells pictures, well, paintings, and they also have the smaller versions of it if you don't want to get the big one. And right down there is they sell maple popcorn from Canada. Also here in Canada, you have the 360 circle film, Old Canada. 
and I believe you go right down that walkway they into it so let's see what else they have but look it's got a hole in it jamming the jamminers those are the show times zoom in so you can get a better closer look They're pretty Why? cool. Yeah, a really so let's see business. what else we can see. <laughs> oh, come on, that joke was pretty sweet. Oh. Now we in the stage, right, they usually right. have the Canadian uh, yeah. All right, everybody. band playing, but it's the uh, What is Earth Demeters. without art? I don't know. Come on. Mm. This here they sell. Specialty latte, donuts, pretty cool. And then this is the festival, the arts. You can't see the sign right now, it's dark. But you go in there, they have a lot of different stuff you can purchase right in that tent there. We're coming into England. Of course, you won't be able to see that one there, but that's another photo op. It's very pretty. And that restaurant there, it's actually a pub. So they got tables right out here where you can't really see where all the lights are at and everything. You can eat out here. It's called the Rosen Crown Pub. This is where they have the, uh, I believe this is where they sell uh, fish and chips. It's very pretty, like England, London style. It's actually, they probably sell the fish and chips in there, but they also sell the fish and chips. Here, Yorkshire, York, Yorkshire country, County Fish and Chips. Yeah. All right, let's, this walkway right down here is actually leads you into the international gateway to the World Showcase. That is like if you're um, coming on a boat. From the dolphin and swan or the boardwalk or the yacht and beach club you actually get dropped off right over here and you will cross over or you can even get the skyliner to go from from epcot to hollywood studios and to the resorts There's a skull on it right back there. You can see the dolphin and swan. Let's see if I can zoom in to the dolphin and swan. 
Hopefully we can see it. It's right back in that area over there somewhere. It's not bright enough. I apologize about that. Now, we're entering France. This is where, now in 2021, it's going to be the new attraction and the new home of Remy's Ratatouille's Adventure. Which is the fun fact is, um, if you go to Paris, at Disneyland Paris over there, they actually have the same exact ride like they do over here at uh, Epcot. So we're crossing over the bridge now to go into France. Let's go. And there is the restaurant for France. The right, right over there. And then, let's see if I can show you a little bit better. Right back there is the film for France. Now I'm going to show you where the home at Ratatouille is going to be. They did have the construction walls up, but looks pretty interesting. I'm glad I had a chance to come out here tonight to show you all this besides the art festival. actual ride is going to be on that side but it looks very pretty so with that being said now we're just going to uh, proceed and we're going to go forward to the next uh, country I figured I'd show you the restaurant inside to show you what it looks like from the France pavilion and then what you do is you check in in there with the reservations And the name of it is Les Chefs de France. Now this is the menu. I'm not sure you'll see it. And I apologize about that folks. Just the writing is a little bit too small. And the part, like it's so small you can't really be able to see it though. This is what the inside looks like. It smells good. It's actually making me hungry. So now we're actually entering Morocco. See if I can uh, 
see if I can just come right here and use that on my light. There we go. My flashlight actually works. It's actually the booth from France. So you can tell with the music. I do want to show you something though before we continue. As you can see, we're already literally halfway around the world, less than 24 hours. We're already here in Morocco. But then right across the World Showcase Lagoon. You can see the famous spaceship Earth. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's continue. We're now in Morocco. They also have a restaurant in Morocco that you can actually eat also. Then, you can actually buy drinks in there, frozen drinks. I know, of course, you know, they got uh, booths. This is the Moroccan booth. And you got the festival shop. You got different paintings. This is Japan. And then of course you got another booth for Japan. That right up there is one. Of, it's a restaurant for the Japan uh, restaurant for the country. There's the archway, the arch for uh, Japan. It's a beautiful picture because you can actually see. You're gonna actually see Spaceship Birth clear as day from over here from Japan. It's pretty cool. And now what we're gonna do is, of course, right next door to Japan. It's one of my favorite uh, countries and pavilion wise here at Epcot is the American pavilion. Oh, 
safety of everyone. So now, we're actually going over to the American Adventure. Here they sell funnel cakes. Of course, if you ever come, if your kids ever want funnel cakes, they sell right here, right, across, right next to the American Adventure. I'm gonna stand right here for a second. This is in the American Theater uh, where they usually do uh, performances for the concerts and everything. They're actually sitting there performing, which is cool. Let's go and see um, if the American Adventure is still open. How oh, we can go check it out. Let's go check. I'm inside of the American Adventure. This is the American Heritage Gallery. Let's go in here and check it out. here now and uh, that's the way you go in to go upstairs to the American Adventure just come right up here and uh,
I'm just showing you all the different quotes that all these gentlemen have said from a long time ago. So I'll show you right here in the middle. It's pretty cool. Nope. Sorry about that, folks. Let me just hold on to the camera so that way I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. And right here, this is where in the center of this uh, location is where the Voices of Liberty usually perform. But they're actually perform out there in that stage. The where I showed you earlier. The exception will be when eating or drinking while stationary. Guests do not comply will be asked to leave. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing and maintain. And here is the last saying. So what I'm going to do is, uh, once you're ready to go in, um, I'll be coming back on. Hopefully. To before I close this video out tonight I forgot to uh, mention one little thing over here in Epcot they do sell a gift card where you can actually purchase it at Mouse Gear also that you can use that to purchase the samplers around the world in the world showcase for the festival of the arts now if you are new to this channel give it a thumbs up share subscribe and hit that notification bell for the future uploads on this channel until next time, here from Epcot Center, don't be a stranger on this upside down world. Until next time, have a great night YouTube.